This video outlines in short, the steps to search and view an annual safety report, or ASR. It also presents how to view and respond to the requests for information, or RFIs, received during the assessment of an ASR. In the Sponsor Workspace, in the Annual Safety Reporting tab, you can view all the ASRs that have been created by the organization. On top, you can see the basic search functionality, the advanced search functionality, as well as the sorting functionalities. Below, in the search results, you can view some details regarding all the ASRs created by your sponsor organization, such as the ASR ID, the Investigational Medicinal Product, or IMP, the ASR status, the sponsor organization that submitted it, and the Safety Assessment Member State, or SAMS. By clicking on the ASR ID, you can access the ASR page. This page is composed by two sub-tabs, the ASR Submission sub-tab, and the Assessment sub-tab. In the ASR Submission sub-tab, you are able to access all the information regarding the ASR, such as the MSCs, the SAMS, the reporting period, and the status. This sub-tab follows the same structure of the sections of the ASR form, seen in the previous video of this module. First, you can see the sponsor details. Then, you can see the clinical trial details. And later, you can see the annual safety report details, and submission documents. Scrolling up. On the assessment sub-tab of the ASR page, you can view the requests for information, or RFIs, which have been submitted by the SAMS, as well as the summary and conclusion for the sponsor. By clicking on Respond to RFI, you will be able to see listed the RFIs received in the context of the ASR. In this example, the SAMS, Germany, has sent an RFI. In addition, you will also have those RFIs listed in the RFI tab. You can click on an RFI to open the ASR page. Coming back to the assessment sub-tab of the ASR page, you will view the considerations submitted by the SAMS. A respond button that you can click to respond to each consideration. Be aware that neither the ASR form, not the RFI responses, can be saved before submission, therefore, they have to be populated and submitted in one go, otherwise you will lose the information entered. Below, you can see a documents section, which will allow you to see the documentation that the SAMS has added to the RFI. It will also enable you to add documentation by clicking on the Add Document button on the right. This will allow you to upload any type of document to the ASR. You can add more than one document, if necessary. Lastly, you need to click on the checkbox at the bottom of the form, agreeing with the disclaimer and click on the submit button. The RFI response is submitted. Neither the original documents of the ASR, nor a new version of the ASR is created. The new documents can be located in the respective RFI response. Once the SAMS has assessed the RFI sponsor responses, the SAMS should complete the assessment of the ASR, by submitting the final ASR assessment report. In this example, the SAMS has already done so. By clicking on Summary and Conclusion for Sponsor, you can view the finalized assessment details. Also, you can see that the status of the ASR has changed to finalized. This video is part of the CTIS training program. For more information on how to create an ASR submission form, cancel and submit it as well as how to respond to requests for information received during the ASR assessment, you may visit our training platform and our additional materials.